I'm talking with Steve Liu, licensed acupuncturist out of the state of Arizona, and he's got something to share with you guys on how to treat chronic pain and get results in like five weeks. And I'm not talking like the typical chronic pain that you see already in your practice and, you know, in a couple of treatments you get those results or in a couple of months you get the results. I'm talking about the type of chronic pain where they've been to a doctor, they've gotten their NSAIDs, their, their cortisone shots, they've seen physio, they've seen chiropractor massage, they've seen other acupuncturists. Um, maybe you have these patients in your clinic right now where you've been treating for a month or two and because you just, they like you so much, they haven't left you yet, but you don't have those, those results. This is the population I'm talking about. And Steve has this novel integrative approach um, where he treats chronic pain. And he's sharing with me that he's been doing this for over 20 years. He has about a 95% success rate. He believes that in five weeks at twice a week, he can help um resolve these issues. And he has a lecture coming up on healthy seminars. It's a weekend, eight hours of integrative approach for the treatment of sciatica pain and peripheral neuropathy. Steve, so glad to connect with you. Um, you've done so much for me uh, in the world of low-level laser therapy. But today we're going to talk about treating chronic pain. And you have this method called FAST. What does FAST stand for? And why do you think you're getting such great results with these chronic pain patients? Yes, hi, Lauren. Um, FAST, F-A-S-T, F stands for friction massage or transverse massage in the PT world and uh, osteopathic world. And A is acupuncture, as an acupuncturist, and of course, and A is acupuncture. S, stimulation. And stimulation, uh, we bring uh, electricity uh, on the needles, so electrical acupuncture, and then we bring TDB lamp, and these uh, heat, far infrared heat, uh, deep penetrating into the tissues, and uh, and uh, lastly is the laser, low level laser, and we use the laser around uh, the injured area around the needles. So, com combination of all three. Uh, with uh, energy, right? You have electricity as energy, you have a heat as energy, you have now, you have a light. The best of the all three worlds combine to help heal a chronic uh, case. Now, remember, all these, uh, when I say chronic pain, these are chronic soft tissue, tendons, muscles, and ligaments. These are, you see, all the time, all the time. Unfortunately, these patients, by the time they come to us, they already are chronic pain. That means they try everything in the Western world. That means uh, anti-inflammatory cortisone shots and even ice. We not never use ice. I always tell patients, ice was invented 1890. But <laughs> there's no ice thousands of years ago, and uh, so this is uh, always he. So a combination of all these Western treatments, uh, they make them a uh, chronic cases, and this is where our modality shines, you know, we can literally resolve these cases uh, in um, um, five weeks. And, and what's what I find, what I'm looking forward to on your weekend workshop with us, what I like about this in our discussions that we have had, and I've read a draft paper that you have been published in a medical journal as well. So just understanding the methodology, you know, we have acupuncture, so we're familiar with that. A lot of us use electrical acupuncture wasn't wasn't taught deeply in our, our training in our school, but we All learned right. how to use it. So I'm, I'm really All looking right. forward to how you're using electrical acupuncture, the timing, how long it's on, the the hertz. I'm, I'm really looking forward to what you're seeing results with. All the right. TDP lamps, this is great too, so how to, how to use that. And then introducing us to low-level laser therapy because um, you and I have talked many times that the physios are using it, the chiropractors are using it, the massage therapists, and some acupuncturists. You've been doing it for over 20 years. I've been using it for um, over a decade as well. Um, on a sidebar, um, I've had patients come to my clinic because of Google coming to me for their condition because I use low-level laser therapy, not because of the acupuncture. I actually have to educate them that I'm going to use acupuncture too, um, right. but they are finding me for laser. And so you want to introduce low-level laser therapy in this talk so those that aren't using it, 
can become aware and then make those decisions if it's something they want to incorporate. And then for those that are already using it, how to how you're using it to bring it into the treatment. What what I like about this is is the recipe. Like a lot of people are probably listening saying, hey, I do acupuncture. Hey, I use electrical acupuncture. Hey, I do um, um, TDP lamps, maybe even laser too. Why are you different? And the idea here is, you know, when you have a really big recipe, um, everybody can have the same ingredients, but when you mix that recipe together and what you put the heat on and how long you cook, your end result, how it's going to taste, is going to be very different. Even though everybody has the same ingredients, how right. do you mix the ingredients and when do you mix the ingredients and at what um, dosage, right? right? And so that's what you're going to share with us on your integrative approach for the treatment of sciatica pain and peripheral neuropathy. That's what we're going to hear about. Right. I'm and looking, yeah. Yeah, I just want to quickly add the, the paper you mentioned that I, uh, I submitted to a journal. And I use a, a case study on supraspinatus tendonitis. And for those of you not familiar with the term, this is basically the most common shoulder tendonitis in the supraspinatus tendons right here underneath the chromium bones. And my point is, when these patients come to you and they say, oh my God, I have the pain right here. Now, typical acupuncturists, you know, if, um, you know, they can always, you know, large intensity, you know, this is, I mean, this is 14, the send you off 13 or whatever, and then they, uh, you know, GB21 and so on. You can look at this case differently with a different uh, uh, angle. And once you understand the orthopedic uh, term, it's a, you realize you do the testing, and this is what I will teach in the, in the future. And uh, um, for uh, like say for instance, shoulder uh, issues and uh, um, you recognize it's a supraspinatus. So once you figure that out, it's a tendonitis, it's a chronic because the patient already had for a year. I had a 15 years. I have a one case in 15 years. That's like a record because she's a, a fly attendant. She's uh, always drag her, her a luggage this way, right? You know, with a, a luggage behind her back. And uh, so she came in with uh, 15 years and nobody know what to do with that, uh, with that, because it's chronic. Remember, once it's you in chronic, you only take, if you want to keep doing the Western approach, that's always just ibuprofen, ibuprofen, ibuprofen. So once you have a case like this, this is where uh, Lauren, you mentioned, this is a recipe and you have this fast recipe. You recognize the problem. It's a chronic pain. It means that there's a scar tissue in the tendon. So in order to bring this tendon out, this tendon is uh, hidden underneath the deltoid. It's under the uh, chromium. So you bring it to this back and then you bring the tendon to the front. Remember, this is our teach in the future. This is gonna take hours to teach, but then you do the friction massage, that's F, F-A-S-T, friction massage. You break up the scar. And then remember- And, the and, and you're doing that because you said you got to go from chronic to acute, acute. to healing. So that's you, the key. Can you just that's talk? I know you're going to do eight hours on the weekend with us, but can you yes. just, why? Somebody's a chronic thing. Why do I need to make acute? Why do I want to aggravate it? What's, yes. is there a logic behind this? Well, look, I always use a, a one story with a patient when I explain, just like you, Lauren, we need to educate our patients. I say, look, if you have a laceration, if you have a cut, if you have a cut, use a knife, if a cut, and deep enough, there is a bleeding. Look, did you take anti-inflammatory? Never. Did you, you might use a little ice to stop the bleeding, but you know that little cut, you don't run to the doctors. You never get a cortisone shot for that pain. You know within 24 hours, pain stop and everything. In, the, in, the, in one day, two days, you, uh, you may use a Band-Aid or something, but then under that, under the Band-Aid, you see the scar form and all that body Body heal beautifully has a has a has a has a building mechanism, right? But when you take anti-inflammatory, you stop the inflammation. Inflammation is the first phase of a three healing phases. In, in inflammation, proliferation, they have to build up the scar. I always tell patients, you cannot, the body cannot build up one fiber at a the time. They have to patch it. It's a 911 situation. You patch it up and all that. And then he has to remodel, take about two, three months to remodel, but use a laser, electricity and needles, acupuncture to help speed up. So instead of a three months 
natural healing cycle, which nobody, modern people have no time for three months. You want to go back playing tennis, you want to go back playing golf. But what happened with this technique, FAST, the recipe, you shorten that healing to one month window. Bam. But you got to bring it back to the acute phase. So what you're, if I, I'm going to rephrase so I can understand it. Is yes. You're taking this chronic condition and you're making it acute because inflammation, we think bad, but as you said, we're That's about right. regulating inflammation. Um, you need a certain amount of inflammation for Correct. healing, but too Correct. much inflammation, not good. No inflammation, no healing. Right. And in this chronic, tired, sore, achy state, you've lost kind of that inflammatory response. The muscles become tired and there's now scarring. So you're basically mimicking the body's healing response, but you're putting it on fast speed. Hey, that's why you, you got call it fast. Now I get yeah. it. <laughs> so that's why you call it fast. It. <laughs> so you're going to help them heal fast, but you're mm -hmm. following the body's way of healing and you're just helping it do that, right. but at an accelerated rate. And you say that in these chronic cases, you feel fairly confident that at twice a week for five weeks, you're about at 95% of getting yeah. these people pain relief. And oh. these are people that have done the NSAIDs, the cortisone. These are people that have seen physios. They've seen chiro massage. Right. They've seen acupuncturists and they come to All you. Right. So they, it's not like they've had this for three weeks. These are years. And in five weeks, you're able to give them that yeah. relief. Yeah, this is the beauty of the, you, you educated patients and the patient comes to you. They are, you are the last resort and they don't know, they do not know how, how long you're going to be with you and all that. But you will be more, a lot more confidently tell them that, look, it's going to take four to five weeks. We're going to resolve it. And this is why you explain to them and they will get it. They will say, my God, it all makes sense. How come nobody else doing that? Now you learn from me, you know how to do it. Then you can confidently explain to your patient why there's a three phases healing, why this technique fast works and why you need to stay with me for 10 treatments. And they gladly pay for all that because they had it for years. And you and know, about, ten, and five weeks is not a long time. And so if you tell right. them five weeks, because I know most of us, if somebody comes in like that and they've seen everybody and they've seen acupuncture, you're like, well, let's give it a go and see what happens. And you know what? They've done that already. They're, I, I would say only a few desperate people would probably say yes to you. But if you say, I'm going to do it differently, here's my approach. You can, right. And you're going to learn how to talk the fast to the, you're going to teach us like why right. this works. So when you know right. why it works, you get to communicate to the patient. And if you tell them five weeks, but at twice a week, right. um, then um, most people are like, all right, you can, you think you're going to give me five, you can get me well in five weeks. I know because in my practice, most, most patients um, will give you that because I tell my patients, give me six weeks <laughs> and they do it. <laughs> so, so you're saying five. So um, I, check out Steve Liu's um, workshop, eight hours. So we're doing four hours on Saturday, four hours on Sunday. Um, you can register. If you're watching this early enough, you can get the early bird rate. If the date conflicts, when you register for a live webinar on healthy seminars, you automatically get the recording. Um, you just can't get live if you watch the recording after. You can only get the live CUs. That's important for my California friends. But if you register, no matter what state, province, country you're in, you'll have access to the recording after. So register today to get the early bird rate if it's still on. And you get to join us and ask Steve questions during the weekend. And everybody will have access to the recording that have registered for the live webinar. Great. Great, Lauren. See you all. Hope to see you all in my, my webinars. I'm looking forward to learning this fast approach and being able to explain the how I'm going to put my recipe together. And just to use my my electrical acupuncture better, um, learning what you're doing with the TDP, then your little bit friction massage. Hey, I'm going to add that because if that's what's a key part, I want to learn a little bit about that. Exactly. And I'm looking forward to hearing about more from you on low-level laser therapy. So exactly. we're going to learn how to treat a condition that people will run to you. Well, they'll run to you at later to thank you because they have sciatica. He's going to talk about okay. sciatica and peripheral neuropathy. Thanks, Steve. Take care. Thank you. Thank you.